Welcome back to Wargamer Shut Up and Jam Guide, where we discuss scenarios. Um, this will be scenario 7, and it's outflank this time. I'll uh, let Mike take it from here. This one's much different from the others, I, 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 from looks of it. Yeah, outflank is an interesting scenario. Um, outflank is kind of similar to uh, Incursion in that it uses neutral objectives only. And in this case, it's two uh, circular zones. Okay. This is the first scenario we've covered that uses circular zones. Uh, there's no kill box. Because your incentive to be in the fight is to actually take the zones and control them. Uh, and you have the same caveats as always. You need five victory points and more VP than your opponent to win. And you have a larger deployment zone as the second player. See, I think this one's kind of interesting because because there's two 12-inch um, areas to control. Circles. Yeah. Circles. Um, and like, well, I wonder what the incentive is of having... There's really no incentive to have both your Warcaster or Warlock versus the, the opponent's in the same uh, zone. Like, they could be in one, you could be in the other. Like, there's no really, no real need to clash them together. So I wonder why they went with this, but they went with um, two zones rather than just, like, one zone. Uh, probably just more space for models to work with, to be honest. Like, you score one, uh, one control point for controlling a zone and two for dominating it. And, I mean, you can't control and dominate the same zone at the same time. Or, you can't, yeah. So you can only either dominate or control. Which okay. means you are incentivized to try to dominate one zone while you control the other. That makes sense. Yeah, because you're also wanting to contest. Like you also have to contest both zones if you want to deny your opponent victory points because they're neutral. Okay, that makes sense. So there is reason to divide and conquer in this case. Okay, okay, fair enough. No, that makes sense. Um, yeah, that, that one's kind of interesting. And then for this one, I mean, like, there's a lot of the board that's taken up by um, areas to control. Right. I mean, you've got two twenty-four, uh, two twelve-inch diameters uh, whose centers are fourteen inches from the, the side table edges. So there's a relatively small band of uh, real estate in the middle that doesn't really matter. Yeah. And then, you know, the, the second player's advanced deployment zone almost touches the circles. So he can easily tow in on his first turn. Oh, for sure. You can't score points on your first turn. So it's not a big deal, but mm -hmm. it gives the uh, the second player sort of an initiative boost in the otherwise first player dominated. Can, can the second player dominate on, on their first turn? No. You can't score control points at all uh, until the second player's second turn. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, thank you for watching this uh, this scenario video. We'll carry on to the next one and last the, and final video. Yeah.